Okay, good morning. It's about 11 o'clock. I kind of want to keep an eye on my time, um, I think. So yeah, it's a little after 11. And I'm going to show you how I get started. Um, I might pause it a couple of times uh, just so I'm not wasting a lot of uh, video time. And it's kind of, some parts are a little bit boring. So I'm going to get started. I've already strung my first section of beads like this, and I'm using this area to anchor my first line of stitching. So I'm just tying this in uh, with a square knot. I'm going to work this in peyote stitch, and I've done this uh, done this first line pretty loose, so I have some options of when I when I pull it to do my first webbing, and you'll see what I mean by that um, after I get a uh, line of peyote stitch down. So what I'm going to do, and I've put my skull on a lazy susan, which I think will help me. Uh, work a little bit faster on this skull. I'm gonna first take this down so I kind of am hiding my knot that I've just made into that first bead. All right. Typically what I do when I work this first line of peyote stitches, I don't get too fancy and I just work the same same bead at each stitch corresponding bead to each stitch so like this is a size 8 gold that I was picking through um, so I'll use that pick up that same bead So I picked through a size 11. Like so. All right, so now I think I will pause and work this all the way around and come back. All right, I'm gonna try a different camera angle here so that you can see how it is that I'm working this peyote stitch. Again, pulling it nice and snug. Alright, I've got a ways to go around here so we'll pause again. Okay, I have um, worked that, and that took me about about half an hour to um, get that second line of peyote stitch worked. Now what I'm going to do is create a web. Um, I want to pull this so that this starts fitting a little bit snugger around here. And I think what I want to do is maybe take my thread kind of through this bit of bone down here because there's an opening underneath there. So I've got a uh, big eye needle and I'm gonna, because I don't want to bend um, these that much. So I'm gonna unthread that. First I'm gonna see, so I'm, I'm making sure that I'm able to see the needle one way or the other and then I'll use a pair of tweezers to kind of pull it out and I th think that this might 
be my best way to go is underneath here. So um, what I am gonna do, oh, I guess I shouldn't have taken that off. Hoot. I need to thread some beads on. And I'll bring this guy a little bit closer here. And maybe move this. All right. Okay. All right, so um, kind of the same technique that I did before. And I'm going to start off with this matte gold in a size 8. Just put a couple on. And let me see if I can tilt this down so you can see me doing this. And I just kind of undulate back and forth, meaning that I go from a size 8 to a size 6. And I'm going back and forth between the finishes. Um, I've picked a matte gold and a shiny gold. Same color, number but in the matte and shiny. And then I want to get in as um, many different sizes as I can as well. All right, I'm going to tip this back here. If I can move this. Okay. I'm going to pull. What I want to do is just come up to this little opening here, I think or maybe a little bit farther, farther up, and I'm pulling this tight. All right. And for these first webs, um, I only use six, uh, size six, eight, and 11, and then I'll, when we're working the free form, then we'll get in our different shapes and um, size 15s worked in. And I think I'll go. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna unthread that again and thread on. And the big eye needle is super flexible and uh, will be easier than just trying to put the thread down in there and grabbing it with the grabbing it with the tweezers. But we'll see. Just something more to hold on to. there. I'm just going to kind of use that little bone bone part right there to hold my So basically, um at this point what I'm thinking is that this will end up getting covered with beads. I might be able to um bring some stitching down inside of that. But that's kind of my idea right now. So, I'm going to leave the thread there showing, but by the end of it, um, it will be covered with beads. We're just gonna use that as an anchor point for right now. Threading my needle back on. All right, that looks nice and tight. Let me see if I can't tilt this. Still kind of fooling around with this um, new holder I got for the phone. All right, I'm picking through that first size 11, taking it slow and pulling that snug. All right, pulling that really nice and tight. Nice. All right, so these first couple of stitches, same thing where I've um, 
the corresponding bead is the one that I've picked up on my needle. And again, just take it slow so that I can get everything lined up snug. All right, so my plan now, I think, is I'm going to come back down. I'm having to think a little bit more through this because I, unfortunately, when I placed my order for beads, I didn't get in my size six shiny gold. Um, they're on back order. And of course, now with the world as it is, I don't know if I will get those in. And luckily I had um, about a half a tube of a gold that's fairly close to the um, gold that I'm that I had wanted to use. So um, what I'm going to do is probably do webbing kind of all over, just kind of do these uh, rounds and anchors kind of all over the skull. So I'm spacing out that color of gold so it's not concentrated in one place. Although it's so close, you. From a distance, obviously, you can't tell, but obviously, if you're up close, you can. And so I want to space that out a little bit. So I'm going to bring this down. I might go ahead and work some around here and then maybe come around here. I really just kind of go with the flow, as it were, because um, I want to be able to space those gold beads out um, as much as I can at this point. So I'm going to... Uh, leave that for now and post this up tonight. If you have any questions about the supplies that I'm using, um, anything else, leave that in the comments. As always, uh, subscribe. You can check out my website, my Etsy page, uh, my Instagram, all of that is at thejadedog.com helpful links there. And here I've got uh, buy me a coffee in the comments or in the description of this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll post a picture of what I get done tonight with an hour count um, on my Instagram and Facebook page.